Euro Sky Shield, Europeans scramble on layered air defenses after decades of complacency. The intensity of the drone and missile war in Ukraine has laid bare gaps in European states' air defenses that experts say will be difficult, time-consuming and costly to plug. Western countries had enjoyed total mastery of the skies since the end of the Cold War and largely dropped the robust defenses once designed to protect NATO forces from Soviet aircraft. France got rid of eight of its nine anti-aircraft artillery regiments, MPs flagged up in a recent report. You're going to see a lot of talk about missile production capacity. The market for missiles is easily the industry's fastest-growing segment, yet the manufacturers can't keep up. Richard Abulafia, Managing Director of Aerodynamic Advisory, told AFP. Berlin plans to spend 5 billion euros on anti-air from a $110 billion fund for rebuilding its armed forces in the coming years, with the same amount budgeted in Paris to 2030. On the industry side, European missile maker MBDA has, in recent months, signed contracts worth $2.4 billion with France and Italy to supply 700 Aster missiles, used mainly in the SAMPT-T system. Poland will spend 2.2 billion euros on 44 launchers and hundreds of CAMM missiles. Euro Sky Shield Germany leads Euro Sky Shield, 17 European nations banded together on air defense last year with the Euro Sky Shield project although France, Italy and Poland have all stayed out. The scheme would involve a layered air defense system and joint procurement for short, medium and long-range anti-air systems, including the German-made Iris-T, the American Miam-104 Patriot and the U.S. Israeli Aero-3. Iris-T SLM will operate in the battlefield-level medium-range interceptor, the Patriot missile will be an endo-atmospheric interceptor reached at an altitude below 30 kilometers and Aero-3 is an exo-atmospheric hypersonic anti-ballistic missile reaching altitude of 100 kilometers. Raytheon's Patriot Missile Engagement Control Station, along with Israeli Aero-3 Missile Defense Command Systems, with integrated air and missile defense battle command system designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase and endo-atmospheric altitude by intercepting with the hit-to-kill approach. Another Israeli offering, a new hypersonic missile interceptor from Rafael Defense Systems, could tempt European governments when displayed in Paris next week after Russia fired its much-hyped Kinzhal nuclear-capable weapons into Ukraine. Patriot missiles showed its capability in the Ukraine war by shooting down seven Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, Iskander ballistic missiles, KH-55 and Caliber cruise missiles. Iris-T also shot down many caliber cruise missiles and drones over Ukrainian airspace. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.